Hello all and welcome, and I'm the Big Top Philosopher. And this story struck a chord with me, because uh, I have an interest in politics, and of course this story is all about the left and the cultural Marxist narrative of the oppressor and oppressed. So it falls very closely in line with the feminist ideologies and views. So I wanted to comment on it. Not only that, but it also interested me a great deal. So Minneapolis to reduce police psych testing after screening out too many minorities. <laughs> I love it. If you can't pass the test, well, let's just change the test, lower the standards, so we can get more of the people in that we want. Of course, it makes you ask the question, why do they even have standards to begin with? Well, it's just to create this, uh, uh, you know, this, this illusion that they actually do have standards and that they actually do care about the quality of the people that they let in. They really don't. The city of Minneapolis may fire its police psych... <laughs> you, you didn't test them right! We didn't get enough minorities! The city of Minneapolis may fire its police psychology evaluator because his test screened out too many minority can <laughs> I noticed they are complaining. Oh, you didn't get enough white people. Not enough white people. No, they're not complaining about that. Excluding white people is actually good for them. It uh, gives them virtue points, and it makes them look good in the eyes of the media, which is, of course, all they really care about. Looking good and getting brownie points with the uh, media despite already lowering psych evaluations far below the national standard. <laughs> the national standards are a joke, too, by the way. But they're too high, apparently. Apparently, we expect too much from policemen. Yeah, we really have, our expectations are too, too high. We really, I mean, an 100 IQ? No, oh, come on, we got to lower the expectations a little. Let's knock it down to 95. 95? And no, we're still not getting enough minorities because they come from low IQ races, generally speaking. Ah, uh, well, you know, we need to be able to let retards in. We, we need to lo lower the standards so far that people with Down syndrome and mental retardation, they can get in and be cops. Sure, let's keep people with really low IQs, loaded weapons, and let them loose on the street. What harm could there be in that? <laughs> oh, my God, this is just so absurd. We're talking about a job where you're going to have a loaded weapon, a shotgun in the car, a police car, able to arrest people and, you know, uh, possibly get away with murder, essentially. And sure, why not? Let's just uh, give guns and the job of policing America to low IQ people. Why not lower the standards as much as humanly possible? The July police shooting of Justin Damon triggered the city to scrutinize its psychological standards for police, with many claiming they'd become lax. You think? Psychiatrist Thomas Gratzer has run psych testing for the Minneapolis police for the past five years, and in that time, he has eliminated four of the five tests used to determine whether a candidate is fit to be an officer. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Before, there used to be five tests that people had to pass. Now they only have one test, and now people are complaining. The city is complaining, meaning bureaucrats, the people that get on the news, are complaining that the final test that does remain it's still too, too stringent. Well, why don't you just throw that one out to and have no testing? All right. Well, why don't you just have it be like applying for a job at McDonald's, okay? Or <laughs> Bob's Big Boy or something. Why don't you just do that? Oh, okay. I see here you've got five years of experience cleaning toilets. Or, or, or oh, okay. I see you've got 12 years of experience uh, vacuuming rugs. <laughs> it's steam cleaning. You're in. Here's your gun and badge. Now get out there and... Police them streets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a real good idea. Got to get some real quality cops with that kind of screening uh, going on. Now this guy Gratzer, he's facing firing for gutting his standard. Not for gutting his standard, but for screening out too many minorities. So let me get this straight. <laughs> so, so he's got thrown out four or five tests, and the final test that remains, the standards have been lowered again and again and again to where it's below even the national standard. And we all know national standards, government standards, are a joke. And the one test that remains is even below that. But it's still not low enough. He's going to get fired not for letting inferior people become police, people who have inferior qualifications. Oh, but he's going to be fired because he didn't lower the standards enough. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Yeah, because, of course, what we really want as cops are brain-dead, low-IQ morons will just do what they're told, like a dog. Sit, I'll give you a treat. Sit. Play dead. 
Beg. That's that's what they want. That's what they want. First, you have a militarizing the police, so the police are essentially going to become the strong arm, uh, 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 jackbooted thugs of the 21st century who will do whatever the government tells them to do, and then militarizing them uh, to the point where they can essentially be uh, the new occupying uh, controlling force in America. And they'll do whatever they're told to do, even if it breaches constitutional rights and freedoms. Oh, so what? What does it matter, right? And they're too dumb to realize it anyway. They'll just do what they're told. But, but we need more. We need more of these dumb uh, minorities, these, these low IQ people. We need more of them, not less. You didn't lower the standards enough, pal. We got to fire your ass and find somebody who will. Mohammed Noor, the officer who shot Damon, Mohammed Noor? Who shot David into Somali? Somali? Have you seen how low th- their IQs are? Like 70, 75? I mean, this is borderline retardation. People who have l- l- IQs that low. The general, I mean, <laughs> oh my God. The average IQs in that area, you know, between 70 and 80 for Somalia. I mean, good Lord. You really want somebody with a two digit IQ? I mean, wouldn't you want somebody who at least has a three digit IQ? At least an average of 100 to be a police officer or more. Oh, no, we want stupid people. We want people with 70, 75 IQs to be walking around with guns. <laughs> that, yeah, okay. It's a Somali and was one of 200 cops approved by Gratzer standards. What standards? There's no standards over the past five years, which were already far below the national standard. <laughs> Related 150 Minnesota cops are convicted criminals. <laughs> let, let that be a lesson to you, folks, okay? Police in America are becoming nothing more than the new tools of the government to enforce the government's wants and the government's whims on the society. That's why they lower these standards so much. They want stupid people who will just obey, like a member of the military, okay, and just follow orders. They don't want intelligent people that can question orders and think for themselves. Goes on to say, Minneapolis used a more standard five-test procedure until up until 2012, and according to a 2004 federal study, those tests worked. Yeah. Five tests to determine physical and psychological merit. Now, one test, meh, let's lower those standards too. Study found that the officers flagged as concerning by the tests were three times more likely to engage in misconduct. (laughs) Well, then it's good that that you don't want those people as police officers. Of course, now those people would get through the testing and become cops. Story goes on to say, there's no way to verify whether Noor shot Damon due to mental unfitness, but many are calling for him to be charged due to the circumstance of the encounter. Jeez, an immigrant from Somalia with what's maybe a 70 to 80 IQ made a police officer in the West and given a gun and a baton and the power to police people and take away their freedom. Hmm. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Nor and his partner responded to Damon's call when she exited her home and approached the police car. Nor claims to have then heard a loud banging noise. Someone, presumably Damon, slapped the car. And, of course, like any low IQ person who has an IQ between 70 and 80, he reacted with an overwhelming show of violence and shot her. <laughs> Opened fire on a broad who smacked his car. <laughs> Lovely. Of course, the fact that low IQ people are far more likely to participate and react in violence to some kind of provocation. Yeah, let's ignore that fact. In fact, let's ignore all the differences in IQ between the races and all the differences in temperament. In fact, let's just ignore all differences and say everybody's the same. Sure, why not? Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges took to Facebook following the shooting, immediately coming to the defense of Minnesota's Somali community. Of course she did. Of course she did, because that's the in thing, the vogue thing to do, is to defend the minority, to offend the oppressed, because there's so many of them. And it's the in vogue thing to do among everybody, all the guilty-feeling white people, too. Well, I'm so successful in my life. I feel bad that I'm successful, and these poor people ain't. Yeah, we need to defend them. Yeah, 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 she's just covering her ass so that uh, uh, she can uh, uh, lock in those votes for her re-election campaign. To the Somali community, I want you to know that you are valued and appreciated. Yeah, one of your people just blew away some poor old lady who smacked a police car with her hand and did no damage to the car, and he just blew her away. But we want you to know that we've got your back. We don't have the back of that evil, horrible white lady that got blown away. (laughs) Yeah, of course. Uh, She wrote, I stand with you and support you, the strength and beauty of the Somali and East African communities. How much of a politician can you be? 
pandering to the community of someone who just killed an old lady. I mean, at the very least, don't pander to that community, okay? Uh, she doesn't go after the guy and, 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 and essentially indict him for being such a piece of garbage scumbag. Oh, no. She goes right to the Somalian and East African communities, which in my mind tells me that in her mind she knows that those communities are the problem. Their cultures are the problem. Their average IQs are the problem. They are the problem. She knows they're the problem. Deep down, or maybe not so deep down, that's why she associates him with them. That, and of course, identity politics. And she wants to go right to them and let them know, oh, we still support you. Of course you do! Are a vital part of what makes Minneapolis so strong and beautiful. Really? Uh -huh, uh -huh. What about the white people? Oh, no, we don't care about them. They built everything, but screw them. I am grateful to be your neighbor. Nor has not faced any charges. What? <laughs> he will. He will if they're smart. Uh, but he might not. Maybe they won't charge him. He might claim, oh, well, I bang and I thought she had a gun. Really, that's all he has to say. He thought she had a gun. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this does, doesn't go to trial and he just doesn't get charged with, with a crime. I wouldn't be surprised if the prosecutor and all the people in that community are a bunch of uh, guilty-feeling white people who are just looking for any excuse to let him off because of identity politics because they feel he's some oppressed minority and, you know, oh, and of course they have a, 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 they want a need to defend this guy, to make excuses for him. I mean, if he'd been white, he'd be in jail right now. He would have been arrested immediately. But he's black. He's a minority. He shot a white person. White people are the only group left that's okay to essentially discriminate against these white. This is like somebody shooting a black person back in the 50s who banged on a cop car, and the cop just says, I thought he had a gun, and nothing happens to the cop. It's the exact same thing, just flipped around. She shot, he shot a white woman. Who he, oh, he says he thought she had a gun, probably. I mean, whatever he says, he'll get away with it. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy doesn't get arrested or charged with any crime. Because the victim is white, of course. And we all know it's okay to discriminate against and kill innocent white people if you were a black Somali police officer, an oppressed minority in the world. We should feel so sorry for you. And they let their feelings of sympathy leak over in all their other decision-making processes when he makes a mistake. That's the same way women get away with crimes these days, except people feel even more sorry for this poor sot. Ridiculous. So let me know what you think of this story. Is it not a travesty? Is it not a joke that people like this low IQ moron, this brute, are given a badge and a gun and allowed to become police officers? Is it not a crime? Is it not a travesty that four of the five tests used to screen out people who are unworthy were removed one of those being an IQ test, obviously. Is it not a travesty that somebody like this had virtually no screening? And the one test that did remain to be used to determine someone's worthiness to be a police officer was diluted to the point of being next to useless. And even that wasn't enough because the minorities still couldn't become cops in large enough numbers to satisfy the virtue signaling morons that are bureaucrats in this freaking city, in this place, Minneapolis. Is that not a travesty? Is it not a travesty that these people are so blinded by their ideology and their need to virtue signal, signal that they don't say to themselves, huh, maybe minorities aren't getting in because they're just not very smart. <laughs> and they can't pass the, the fitness tests. Oh, no, it couldn't be that. There has to be discrimination of some kind. Oh, why do we have these horrible discriminatory tests? Yeah, we shouldn't care how intelligent they are. Jeez, having an intelligent test, that discriminate against, against these people. But why? Because they're stupid? <laughs> yeah, well, if they're stupid, they shouldn't be police officers then. Oh, well, that's not their fault. They should be able to be cops and walk around with guns and a badge anyway. Yeah. Of course. So let me know what you think in the comment section of this video, and please like and subscribe and donate to my Patreon if you feel so inclined. You'll find a link both in the last 20 seconds of this video as well as in the description. I am the McTuff Philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.